What do we have here? I got a movie poster signed by Jacqueline Bissett, Robert Vaughn, Robert Duvall, and this cat here, Steve McQueen. That's really, really cool. Bullet was a hell of a movie. I came down to the pawn shop today to see about selling my bullet poster. Paid $3,900, and I definitely would like to make a little profit. So where'd you get it? I was at a fundraiser for kids, and it was a silent auction item. They didn't have, like, one of the all-time number one car chases in a movie. Oh, yeah, dude. It's been 25 years since I've seen the movie, uh, but I do remember the car chase. <laughs> we all wanted to drive that car through the streets of San Francisco. I mean, catch a little air. Steve McQueen really was a race car driver. I mean, in Bullet, he did a lot of uh, the driving himself. Not too many freaky cops like Bullet around. You look at the Italian shoes and the turtleneck, and you have to wonder. But when some rare Chicago blood starts spilling in San Francisco, they give Bullet the mop. <laughs> Steve McQueen was one of the biggest movie stars of the 1960s and 1970s. He had a reputation of being hard to work with on set, but he was so popular with audiences, the directors just had to put up with him. I mean, his nickname was the King of Cool. How badass is that? So who signed it again? We've got Jacqueline Bissett. She was a hottie of her time. One of my favorites right here, Robert Duvall. I think of Robert Duvall right now, and he's a cool character right now. Uh, Robert Vaughn, another big actor in Hollywood, and of course, Steve McQueen here. I know it's a rare poster, and Steve McQueen is a real hot item at the moment. His stuff has become super collectible. So what do you want to do with it? Uh, I want to sell it. How much are you looking to get out of it? I've heard numbers that range from four grand to 35 grand, so. OK. I really like Steve McQueen. I mean, uh, I just offered $95,000 for one of his bikes. Wow. I recently looked at a 1940 Indian motorcycle that belonged to Steve McQueen, and we couldn't make a deal. I mean, I've been kicking myself ever since. The guy is my favorite actor of all time. Do you mind if I have someone come in and take a look at these signatures, just to make sure they're legit? No, I, I think that'd be great. Let me go get my buddy a call, get him down here. If all the signatures are legit, we can do something. Awesome. OK? All right. As much as I want to make an offer and snatch this thing up right now, I have to get these signatures checked out. If they're legit, there's no way I'm going to let that guy walk out the door. How are you guys doing today? Always good, man. All right. The guys calm me down if they think something might be forged. And of course, they don't want to buy a forgery, so they give me a call. All right, I got something really cool here. A bullet movie poster signed by Steve McQueen and the entire cast. I don't think I've ever seen a poster before. I love the movie, though. It's fantastic. We're basically dealing with most of the cast which I like because you get more evidence to tell if it's going to be authentic or not. Or else make it more valuable than just Steve McQueen's signature, OK? Well, Steve McQueen's signature is pretty rare. I mean, he died at only 50 years old, didn't like to sign a lot of autographs. His memorabilia is very valuable. What other problems do you think might be with it? I mean, I just need to know if that's Steve McQueen right there, because I know he didn't sign a lot of stuff. All right. I'm going to concentrate on the Steve McQueen and the Robert Duvall. They're the ones that's going to be the most valuable. We should take a close look on the uh, Robert Duvall. His signature, it can be all over the place. So it's really hard to authenticate. But um, he does have the, uh, the double L's at the end. The shape of the D is pretty much dead on. All right, well, let's take a look at the big one here. Steve McQueen. He does write an S. It's almost like a figure eight. The shape of the capital T is huge, and that's the way he normally writes it. But I see that the T bar is missing. Most of the ones I've seen before finish up with the T, but he doesn't do it that way every time. Shape the M's off, but he does write a six design for the, the Q. I would say this poster is worth probably $1,000 without the signatures. But with the signatures, it's worth zero. They're not good. Oh, you got to be kidding. Oh, man. I'm sorry, but Steve McQueen's signature, I've studied it a lot. And it's got way too many hairs for it to be authentic. Oh, Sorry, sir. I wish I could say thanks, but yeah. not all good, are they? No. Oh, my god, that's such a drag. I always thought it was a good signature, so it's a disappointment. You got two strikes on Steve McQueen so far. Yeah, second time in a few months, I couldn't get a Steve McQueen item. Um, all right, man, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, not as sorry as I am. Sorry to have it. I usually don't let my emotions get involved in my business, but I really wanted this thing to be real. I'm just glad I didn't shell out a bunch of money for a fake. And one of these days, I'm actually going to buy a genuine McQueen piece. At least I hope I will. Wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. 
This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna take it home.